Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to the Talmud Lunch and Learn. This week, the food is provided by David and Susan. Thank you so much for taking care of everyone and picking up such delicious kosher pizza. It's really magnificent. To those of you online, you're always welcome to join us here every week in person on Friday at 12 p.m. for our Talmud Lunch and Learn. Wanted to share a sh short thought with our friends who are not privileged to be sitting here in our class every week. And we learned something which is really, really magnificent last week, which is so important for us to remember mm -hmm. and to keep with us at all times. And that is we must be cautious with every word we say, every word we speak. We spoke in the past about the sins of Lashon Hara, of Richilut, of uh, Motzi Shemra, speaking a truthful, negative information about someone else. We spoke about saying something which is false about okay. someone else. Um, that's also forbidden. Uh, we spoke about speaking just anything derogatory. But this is something totally different. This is something totally different. This is not opening up the doorways for the Satan, for the evil uh, forces to have control over us. In what specific uh, uh, situation are we talking about? And yes, this falls into a little bit of a superstitious ideas in Judaism, but um, the Talmud tells us, and the Talmud that we've been learning here in Tractate Brachot 19a, relates the following, Olam al yiftach adam piv satan. One should never give Satan an opening. And what that is telling us is that sometimes a person says, oh, um, uh, I, uh, you know, before people travel, sometimes people say, before they travel, they'll say, okay, I'm going, I'm not coming back. You've got to be very careful about using such words. Going, I'm not coming back means, potentially, to the Satan, I have an opportunity to never, make him never come back. Right? People say things, that's it, I'm, it's the last thing I'm eating. It's a what do you mean the last thing you're eating? Right? You'll be very, very, very careful not to, to be, clarify what you're saying. It's the last thing I'm eating this meal. I'm going, I'm not coming back, you know, is a very dangerous thing to say. Say, you know, I'll, I'll come back later. But we have to be so careful. The Talmud keeps on reminding us here how, how um, powerful our words are and how they could be used against us. It's like anything you say can and will be used against you. The Satan pays attention to the words that we use. And if we're not careful, God forbid, we, there could be terrible, terrible result, uh, ramifications for it. I'll just share the story. I spoke about it last week, but now that we're on video and all of our friends are, are, are online, we're going to share this, this incredible story. My father grew up in a, in, in the, in a little village called Be'er Yaakov. Today it's not a village, today it's really, really developed. It was right next to an army base. It wasn't a really big community, but there was a man who lived in that neighborhood, in that village, and uh, you know he'd leave every morning, go to his job, come back at a certain. He'd leave at a certain time, come back at a certain time. One day, he left and came back. You know, in the morning before he, I guess, got on his train, and then he came back. He went, He left and came back again. And his wife says, "Is everything okay?" So, and he said, "No, this time I'm going to go." I'm, you know, he had some type of stomach virus or something. He says, "This time I go, I'm not coming back." And he passed away um, shortly thereafter and never came back. We have to be so careful about this. We have to be careful in how we speak to our children. We have to be careful about how we speak to our friends, to our family, to our, to our employees. We have to be cautious about the words we're using to ensure that we don't have an opening for the Satan, God forbid, to take those words and use them against us. That's what we learned from our Talmud class. There's so much more, you guys, you, you, our friends online, there's so much more you can enjoy, hopefully, from our Talmud learning. Uh, you're welcome to come live to the Torch Center every Friday at 12.30. Have a wonderful Shabbos and have a, uh, a great Omer. Last night we counted the 26th, the 20, 27th day of the Omer. 27th day of the Omer we counted last night. And uh, hopefully tonight we're going to count um, the next night. Uh, it's going to be the, uh, the fourth full week of the Omer. And next week you might not recognize me because I won't have my beard after Lagba Omer. So with that, my friends, thank you so much for joining us and have a terrific Shabbos.